the PC Tips Pro and in today's video we are going to see how to design your photo in the Google Sites. So before getting into the video, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the PC Tips Pro, please do subscribe. And now let's get into the video. So here we go with our Google Sites. So I have created a new page called as Footer to show you how to design the footer. So let's scroll down and let's go to the insert and click on the text box. And in the text box, uh, first, uh, firstly I just want to give some text. So firstly I want to structure my footer. So firstly I just give any uh, word. Uh, so I give about and then let's copy this about and paste it three times. Control V, Control V and you can resize this like this. In this way you can resize this. Uh, you can uh, I'm thinking of making three sections here like three columns so I just do it like this so this size would be enough for me and once you click on this here you can find three icons it says selection colors duplicate select se uh, section and here is section colors duplicate section and delete section and then uh, click on the duplicate section this will create a, a replica of the previous one previous section and then again uh, create one more duplicate section and once you're all done uh, you just need to uh, drag this by using this drag it and drop it here like this and then also again you can drag this and drop it here so it looks something like this in this way so in this way you got the columns and two rows and now let's start editing this so firstly go to this about and here you can change the font of this by using these all so let me create one font for this I select this and let's create one font for this and so maybe this is nice for me and then you can even uh, change the font size let's say I want my font size to be 24 I'll select this and go to your font size and let's say 18 is my font size that I want and then you can even make this um, italic or else it's better to not be italic and then you can uh, you just uh, have not uh, given the font to it and the font size to it and now let's see how can you uh, make it a good footer so just click on this and click on the insert link after click, uh, clicking on the insert link so uh, let's say this uh, by clicking on this uh, the visitor will be navigated to the home page so I'll be just uh, giving the home as my uh, page to redirect once they click on this uh, text so click on apply and now it is a button so once the visitor clicks on this he will be redirected to the home page so you can now uh, change this text to home and let's link it to the home page click on apply so now when the visitor clicks on this home they will be redirected to the home page which we have created already and now uh, you can even do one more thing just go to the section let's say if you want to add some social media uh, if you want to add some social media icons here you can uh, click on this align and you have uh, you can align in this way or else in this way and this way so the entire section you can align like this and this way like this so you can it's all up to you how do you want to align this footer section and all similarly we can even change the alignment of these two like this you can change the alignment of these all and here uh, let's say you want to add some social media icons so you can do that uh, by just embedding the code so in few websites you can find uh, embed embedding code for the icons also you can get this from w3schools.com so from there you can just uh, get the code click on the embed and you can give the embed code you can insert this and you can use them uh, so let's say you want, you want to give some contact as uh, details so your contact details so let's firstly over this 
and let me just scroll down and let's add some text new text box and here I'll say oh, contact us so now I let me change the font let's select this and let's change the font Let me increase the font size so I just want it to be bigger so this is better one and then uh, let's even select the colors so click on the cell you can find once you click on the section you can find se section colors here so click on it and then uh, you can just choose the style how it should look like like this or then you can even choose this so for me this looks better so I just choose this and also you can change this background color just click on the uh, and also you can change the background by using this image option you can upload the image or else you can select the image if you have them in your google account and then let's click here and let's uh, add uh, let's go ahead and let's add our contact details contact us section here you can add your uh, contacting details like your address and also your uh, email id to reach you out and many more things you can add them here and then uh, you can uh, even click on this text color just uh, select this text where you want to change the text color click on the text color and you can change the text color it's all according to you so now and also you can change the font color and font size of the text so let's say I want my font to be this and my font uh, size to be somehow 18 uh, so let's select this and let's give it, give the size to be 18 so it works then and like this so this, is look, uh, this looks like this and also you can even add your email id or to uh, let your visitors uh, contact you through email or else you can even add your phone number phone number and many more details that which comes under contact us and then um, after this uh, we can just uh, give one uh, we can insert a divider just to make it look a more uh, professional so let's add a divider here so this is how this footer looks like and then after this we can add a divider and after adding the divider uh, so let's uh, let's uh, add the copyright and all so for this let's again go to the insert and you know let's click on the text box so using this text box we can add this uh, copyright footer and let's say your footer goes by copyright 2021 and uh, other things and all so once you give your copyright uh, text here you can um, you can change its font like mostly like this maybe and then your font size you can change and then uh, once you give your copyright and when you give the privacy policy and your terms and conditions so let's uh, separate this by this and let's say terms and conditions uh, you might have to uh, redirect this to a page like when the visitor wants to read your privacy policy or terms and condition uh, he or she might have to go to the next other page or uh, should have to uh, navigate to the other page so for this we, call, uh, we can do is um, just click on this let's select this and now we can insert a link uh, where it should be taken so for for this privacy policy and terms and conditions let's create two more pages for uh, linking this uh, to create the uh, new page click on the plus icon and click on the uh, name name and give the new page to be a uh, new page name to be privacy policy this is one page and then also add one more page called as terms and conditions so this will be the two pages which are which we gonna need now let's go back to our footer page let's scroll down 
and here when we come here let's select this privacy policy and click on this insert link and here link to the page called as privacy policy and click on apply and now we can even link this to a new page uh, let's say uh, select on this terms and conditions click on insert link and let's go to the page which is created that is terms and conditions page click on apply and now uh, when a visitor clicks on this privacy policy uh, policy page or else uh, terms and conditions he will be redirected to the privacy policy and terms and condition pages which we have just created so in the pages we could add our uh, all the terms and conditions and all in the pages which we have just created and then even you can change this color by just selecting all this text and then click on the text color and give the color to be anything which you like so let me say I want to give this color and so after you give all this and you know how the copyright text looks like so make it look like it and then uh, using all these features you can uh, you can create a perfect footer for your google sites so this is all for this video guys i hope you found this video useful to you don't forget to like share and subscribe to the pc tips proof thank you for watching guys